I have been super interested in the Dr. Seuss controversy this week because I love Dr. Seuss. I was raised on Dr. Seuss. My parents had signed us up for a once a month book club and every month in the mail, we got a new fresh Dr. Seuss book, which we absolutely loved. And I'm pretty much a minimalist. I'm not very sentimental. I don't save a lot of stuff, but I saved my books. And I realized this morning that I have four of those six books that are in controversy. So I thought, we should look at those together and take a look at the controversy for ourselves, treat them like primary source documents, which my students have to study in high school, and decide for ourselves what the controversy is all about. Dr. Seuss's estate statement says, quote, these books portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong. And I actually only have three of the six books. I have If I Run the Circus, but it's If I Run the Zoo that's in controversy. But I have the circus book included here because I didn't know better at the time. But um, I have, there's something interesting to say about that book too. Here's our first image from On Beyond Zebra. And to me, it looks playful, dated, whimsical. Is it meant to imply that Everybody in, say, the Middle East rides camels. There could be a fence with that one. I think Dr. Seuss took an interest in portraying what he thought was exotic as something Middle Eastern. These, these type of images crop up a lot. And I'm sure back in the 40s and 50s, we didn't know anything about the Middle East. They seemed mysterious. And that was his way of, I don't know, portraying something as opposite of us as could be. As a music teacher, I'd like to know what the sound of that thing is. Of these four books, McGillagot's Pool actually intrigued me the most because it showed the most of white culture. This very first image, uh, a bumpkin sitting on a falling downish fence with his ill-fitting suspenders, pants, and the hay fork and the big funny hat. That's an exaggerated caricature for sure. Of all the pictures I saw today going through all of Dr. Seuss's books, this one intrigued me the most because it portrayed white culture. You've got the uh, hayseed on the big hay truck, and you have the woman hanging laundry on a string. I guess in the 40s, people hung laundry up, but these days that would be, I don't know, sort of an insult. And then you have all the little ladies on their rocking chairs just rocking away. Caricature. Yes, it doesn't offend me because it's a white person who drew it, but say it was somebody else from another culture drawing that of me. I think that's the difference. Again, Dr. Seuss liked to use contrast cultures beyond our knowledge, and he loved the Inuits. He loved what we would call in the day Eskimos. With their fur and the and the joke here is, you know, the little fishies are wearing the fur like the like the Inuit there on his little iceberg. Caricature, fun, yes, offensive. Well, I'm not Inuit. This little image of what? Maybe maybe Asian? Might I just seems very sweet. I don't see much exaggeration there. Well the beard's kinda crazy. But I don't see much insult in that one. Here's another book that has a lot of portrayal of white culture that interests me. There's that little guy with the pipe looking kind of cool and stoic. He gets featured a lot throughout this book. You've got a crowd of white people, only white people, going to the circus to see fantastical, mystical, crazy acts. Uh, are they being easily taken in? Eh, I, could, I could sense a little bit of that. Here's a little guy appearing throughout this whole book, and he's definitely white. He's unflappable. He's maybe cold, oblivious, unfeeling. That book, If I Ran the Circus, to me speaks to the heart of the matter. I didn't even realize it until I really was reading that, looking at that book, that it's all white culture in that book. And there are a lot of caricatures. There are a lot of stereotypes. There might even be a little mocking about of American white culture in that book. But because we know in the back of our minds it's written by a white person, we don't perceive it as anything but maybe lighthearted. But here's the deal. If that book were written by somebody outside of white culture, 
that might, it might, it would change the feeling of that, of that book. Are they doing those caricatures to make fun of us? Are they mocking us? And I think that's what people from other cultures interpret when they see their cultures represented as exaggerations in books that are written by white people. Are they mocking us? I looked everywhere for uh, media input by anybody who, from cultures and communities who were insulted by these pictures. I actually couldn't find anybody. But who are we to force people of other cultures in front of the media monster to feed the monster and put their feelings and culture uh, front and center for us to dissect and, and you know decide, make decisions about? It's not for us to decide. If somebody from another culture says, I find these images and the way they're used mocking and insulting, then that's what defines what is mocking and insulting. They have a say-so, not the white people, the white author who wrote it. That's the difference. The take on Scrambled Egg Super is this boy character who goes to exotic lands far and wide and gathers eggs from every corner. Here, Dr. Seuss is again using the Inuit as a foil. I believe this image of what appears to be a man of Sikh culture is the most controversial out of this book. And I think with a white eye, we see uh, a lovable man in a turban out to grab a couple of eggs, and then the birds turn around and uh, you know run him off. And we might not see anything to that, but suppose the Sikh culture, which I understand is a is a warrior culture, is insulted by the thought that they would be accused of stealing eggs, that they would be run off by mere birds. We don't understand the subtlety of what we might be insulting when we just throw in an exaggerated caricature or stereotype into white art. So what do you think? I challenge you to put on your critical thinking cap when the media has anything to say, go to the primary source and evaluate it yourself. Your understanding of the topic will be much richer. I was actually pretty surprised about what Dr. Seuss had to say about white culture, and it gave me a deeper understanding about what the cultural controversy is about his books. Today is day 22,410. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again. And by the way, I am being overrun by pine babies. <laughs>